Hey guys, it's Hunt for Games, and you guys are hopefully off to a great week so far, considering the awesome games that have come out this week. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn apparently is like one of the best games ever made, and I haven't even touched it because of Zelda, uh, Final Fantasy has always taken my time, and uh, squeezing out Mass Effect 3, I'm really trying to finish that before Andromeda comes out, I never actually beat it. But I wanted to just do a quick update on what kind of videos we have coming soon. Uh, Life with the Puppy is getting easier than ever, so I've been thinking about what other videos I can put out on a week-to-week -week basis and like start freshening up the channel. Now, this does not mean I'll be slowing down on Final Fantasy XI at all. In fact, I may have more than ever Final Fantasy XI videos in the coming weeks, but I might branch out a little bit with Final Fantasy XI as well. When I got into the favorite Notorious Monster videos, which I still have to finish this, by the way. I only got to like level 60. We've got like plenty of Notorious Monsters that we still got to check out. But I was so focused on those videos week in, week out, and I got into such a rhythm of like, what I had to put in those videos and like getting them done that by the time I finally took a break I felt like I was pulling my head out of the sand. I tend to like stagnate a little bit when I just do the same thing week in week out and it just doesn't end up being as entertaining as I think it could be. On top of that a lot of you guys have been bringing up like doing live streams and I'm super pumped that you guys are so excited about it. I'm, I'm really excited about the idea of doing some live streams but frankly I've got a little bit of a ways to go before I can get that rolling. Uh, tech stuff, schedule stuff and and frankly some like Mr. Miyagi style training on becoming a better live streamer are all things I got to get to before before we can get that happening but we'll get there and I'm really excited to check it out next couple of months I, I promise this is going to get rolling I know most of you are like whatever dude enough about this get on with the game and stuff but I felt like sharing so you guys could get excited about some of the different stuff coming up including tonight's video which is the start of a weekly segment I think I'm going to do about just game news updates I'm going to throw it together every Monday night uh, half and half like news about what's going on in the gaming world and like what's going on in my gaming world what I'm playing what I'm excited about whatever there really won't be a specific focus for these and honestly for a while I avoided videos like this because there's so many groups and channels out there that can do news so much better I mean they're nose to the ground 24 7 it's their full-time job and and they can just get this shit out there earlier. Like literally within seconds of news being public, <laughs> they have videos and articles out on it like just immediately. Whereas I'm at work like, oh, that sounds interesting. I can't wait to do a video about that in like three days. But screw it, I love talking about this stuff. And obviously I'll gravitate toward news and info that like interests me specifically. And you wouldn't be here if you didn't share some of those interests that I have. So I, I think it'll work out. I think it's gonna be good. But enough of the real talk, let's get into the fun gaming chit chat and, and this week will probably be one of the easiest of these that I put together because there's just so much shit going on. Now keep in mind, weekly reminder, this is an unscripted bullet point shit, so <laughs> this could get a little off the wall. I can't promise that it's going to be like perfectly edited. It's not going to be edited. I'm also going to try and get into a habit of linking like the stuff that I talk about below in the description because people have mentioned that before that I'll talk about stuff and they'll be like, what, where was the link? And I, I just forget. I can be better. You guys deserve better. <laughs> Anyways, news, bullet points. What do we got? All right. So, um, the obvious one, the Nintendo Switch came out Friday and against all odds, Target delivered my shipment on Friday. So, uh, the only game I have for it now, <laughs> frankly, the only game worth buying for it is uh, Zelda, uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. So it, it also came out on the Wii U, but it came out on the Switch too, and I got it for the Switch. Uh, awesome. So the game is awesome. It's, I really kind of thought watching all the trailers for it that it was going to get kind of repetitive. It was going to be a lot of this like open world stuff. You're just like, ah, I'm always like repairing stuff and crafting is going to be like kind of annoying, but it has been amazing. I got to one of the first like, you know, normal kind of towns. Um, and it's just blowing me away. Um, performance in docked mode has been a little bit of an issue. So like when you play on the, just the switch handheld, you pull it out of the dock, it runs at 720p, which is what the screen size is on the just handheld portion. When you dock it, it ups it to 1080 or like 900p, but whatever. But uh, you do see like frame rate drops and I wouldn't care as much if it was like consistently frame rate drops between both. But when you are used to the smooth handheld and then you dock it, you're kind of like, oh, that kind of sucks. And it's like random. You'll just like look out across a field and it'll be perfect. And then you like turn and look at some random bush and it's like, oh, shit. Um, I don't know. It just it, it hits you because it's like so weirdly inconsistent. Regardless, the game itself is amazing. Um, I've really been enjoying the Switch as like a thing. So I've been, for years, I've been trying to, like, get streaming better bet uh, between, like, laptops and the TV and just, like, the household and, like, where I can play. But there's one thing that has never worked, and the Switch finally just does it perfectly. If I'm playing on my handheld, handheld Switch, just playing the game, and then I dock it, the game just continues now on the TV. And if I pick it up, it just continues. If you try to stream a game mid play like if i'm just like playing final fantasy 14 on my computer and then i run upstairs and like hit stream 
that won't work. It cannot like latch on to an already running game. And I we need to get there because it's such an amazingly awesome feature of the Switch. And I'm so glad that it works like it does. So um, anyways, couldn't talk about that without bringing up the controller problems people are seeing. Like, So I don't see this, but a lot of people have reported that the left Joy-Con will desync and like lose connection with the the switch every once in a while. I don't know if it's like how they're holding it or the configuration in the room or other devices that are interfering. Um, like I had a ton of problems with the PS4 Gold headset like losing connection and being kind of crappy when I had Wi-Fi on my TV turned on. When I turned that off, it, it's been working fine. But I don't know if people are experiencing problems even after the day one patch and Nintendo hasn't really commented on this, which brings me to my next point that like, Nintendo's communication about the whole Switch and how it works, how the digital content works, how save game works, how friend codes are still a thing, kind of, uh, digital content plans, virtual console, they don't talk about any of it. We don't know. And it's so frustrating in 2017 that Nintendo still doesn't fully get that they need to like share this information with the consumer for us to like fully trust them that this isn't going to be another Wii U. Now, I have the console. I'm super pumped. But come on, Nintendo. Like, I want to know how this stuff works before before we buy it. Uh, another concerning thing is some people have been reporting that they're getting little scratches on, on the screen on the left-hand side. Now, it's they're in, in the, like, bezel kind of section. But from they think it's from docking it and undocking. And if that happens, that's going to be... I'll be real upset because I I'm like so nervous doing that. And if it's actually scratching the system, that kind of sucks. Um, peripherals are all in general, super expensive right now. Like two joy cons. If you want to get like another two joy cons, 80 bucks, you're telling me it's 40 bucks for one of those things for like the tiniest little controller ever made. I know it's like advanced hardware now, but come on. Um, what else we got availability on the console? I've been hearing mixed things. Like everyone says they're sold out everywhere, but then a lot of people just like went to the store and bought one. So I don't know how realistic that actually is for once. Nintendo might have pulled this off, but possibly as a negative side, only because people are a little leery of buying the Switch day one because of what happened with the Wii U. I don't know. That could go a lot of ways. Sounds like you can probably get one, though, right now if you want. Um, but it depends where you are. So what else? Feels great in general. The console just feels great to hold. I, I really enjoy it. Um, popping the controllers on and off feels good. I like the size of it. When I took it out, I thought it was like going to be... It is super small. It's like really tiny, but I thought I wouldn't like that, and I actually love it. Um, when I'm just holding it, it's a great size to just play. I don't feel like it takes up a ton of space on like the table if I just like set it down for a few minutes. I don't know. I just like the size. It just feels good. Um, I'm excited for a larger library. I, like I said, all I have right now is Zelda, and I've even looked at trying to buy one of the other games, but they're all kind of expensive right now for like no reason. I mean, that's Nintendo, <laughs> but I'm excited for like a few months in when there's like a few other games for the Switch. I think that's going to be their big thing. They've got a long lineup of games that are coming out that I'm really excited for, so that's a good sign. But we'll see with like third-party stuff and everything. Anyways, enough about the Switch. It's been fun. Let me know what you guys are thinking of the Switch. Does that, do any of you have it? Are you playing games other than Zelda? Um, does anyone have I Am Setsuna? That came out for other systems, but I think the Switch could be a great you know, console for that, so I might check that out. 40 bucks seems like a lot. I, I would do it for like 25 I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you think on the Switch, uh, whether you have it or not. I'm curious. Um, if you're playing Zelda on the Wii U, how's that going? I have no idea what that experience is like. So what else we got? Um, I brought up earlier Horizon Zero Dawn. So that came out uh, like last week or something. Um, and apparently it's like amazing. So I was really hopeful for this one because kind of just selfishly, it's a PS4 exclusive. And I want PS4 to do do really well because I have PS4 and I, I like when the console just kind of like succeeds. Uh, but Robot Dinosaurs crumbling post-apocalyptic future with mysterious ancient past. I mean, all that just hits all my little buttons of, like, excited things. I literally didn't know I wanted Robot Dinosaurs, but I, I totally do. I haven't played it at all. I'm super pumped to play it, and I would totally have, like, bought it last week if I wasn't just so busy playing other stuff. It just doesn't make any sense for me to buy it right now, but I really want to play it. I second it drops in price for any reason, I'll probably pick it up. Um, it looks amazing, and everybody keeps reviewing it really well. What else we got? Uh, some other cool releases. Uh, Near uh, Automata <laughs> releases tomorrow. This one people have been waiting for for a while, so I've been seeing the name pop up all over the place. But I don't really, I still don't really know what it is. So I, I looked up some videos, and it looks like uh, it looks like it's kind of like Devil May Cry, God of War, like fast-paced combat style, like action action combat game. Uh, but it looks really cool. Uh, really diverse areas. Each little section I saw in the video was like a different kind of area. 
Uh, the gameplay looks awesome. It's being reviewed well. I've seen reviews pop up in a couple places saying it's uh, saying it's pretty good. So another one that as soon as it drops in price, I'll probably be checking out. I haven't played a good action game like that in a while. Um, probably since I like downloaded Devil May Cry, the like recent one where he was like a teenager, angster, angsty teenager. I bought it like years after release, and I got like halfway through. It's pretty cool. Anyways, um, I keep waving. Like I'm waving the thought away. Like next. Anyways, seriously. Also tomorrow is uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. So I, I've heard mixed things about this from the open beta. And depending on who you talk to, it was either like the most fun in years or like awful. Um, I didn't get a chance to check it out. I downloaded the open beta and it's still sitting on my PS4, but I was just so busy that weekend that I, I didn't get a chance to play it. Let me know in the comments if, if yeah. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you played it and what you thought. Um, I've talked to like half and half of my friends. They think different things. It seems like... It's pretty cool. It's got a little bit of glitchiness that people are hoping is going to improve, like right before release. Um, we'll see. If nothing else, I really hope it succeeds and brings back like co-op in general in a big way. There haven't been like a really good co-op game in a while, and this is four-person co-op against you know the computer, just like missions, pre-configured missions and games, and that isn't as popular anymore. It's all like competitive multiplayer and that's cool and I, I love competitive multiplayer but i miss co-op co-op was so much fun so i hope uh, ghost recon wildlands is good I, I one of the biggest complaints is i've heard it doesn't feel like ghost recon at all but that's you know whatever if, if it's fun it's fun i i'm not that worried uh final fantasy 14 expansion i'm a little late on this because this was all like announced weeks ago while i was while i was on the cruise but uh all the jobs have been confirmed at this point we're getting two new jobs red mage Awesome, super excited, and uh, Samurai. Also, super pumped. Final Fantasy XI, these were some of two of my favorite jobs, and I'm really, really pumped to see how they end up like melding into the flow in Final Fantasy XIV. So both damage-dealing jobs, which is really cool, because I feel like we've got a pretty good number of tanks and, and healers. Although their excuse for not including a tank or a healer in this expansion was kind of funny. They're like, we added a new tank and a new healer, and it didn't raise the number of tanks or healers. It just... You know, the, the existing tanks or healers just moved to the new ones. And I was like, okay, so we're just going to give up on that concept, like, forever? <laughs> we're never going to change that? But, regardless, uh, super excited about Red Mage and Samurai. The the art that I've seen, the sneak peeks in the trailers and stuff of the zones that we're going to be going to in the new cities, all look awesome. Uh, like, really cool. Some underwater stuff and some uh, very, like, Japan Samurai-esque towns and cities and stuff. It just looks, it looks really cool. I, I'm not, I'm not really enunciating that well, but <laughs> really excited. I'm also excited to hear more about the uh, specifics about the combat changes. So short version, it sounds like they're trying to cut the fat on a lot of the uh, more annoying abilities that don't even really get used very much. Keep the same number of like actions that you use in a fight in a rotation um while introducing the new changes between 60 and 70 like new abilities are coming so i don't know how they're going to do this because i don't know i don't know how we're going to replace new abilities or replace old abilities with the new ones um are we going to like have multiple stances where you know the new abilities do different stuff i i don't know and it's it's great if like we shrink down the hot bar i need at level 70 to have the same number of hot bar abilities, but like uh, we're just not really using some of the lower ones as much. But then what happens when I go to like a level 20 dungeon again? Do I need to have like a separate hot bar set up? I don't know. So we'll see. Um, excited. Excited. I'm just curious. I just don't know how that's going to work yet. Moving on though. That's pretty much it for games. Um, some cool news. Uh, Oculus Rift prices dropped two hundred dollars which is kind of crazy and i still <laughs> can't afford it i really hope vr picks off uh kicks off in a big way um at least for gaming I, it seems to be kind of getting there not gaming wise but i wanted to get there with gaming at the prices it's at right now the the games that are available it's hard to to see that happening in the near future where it it becomes like a mainstream gaming thing um playstation is making a strong push with this with with VR and a lot of its like standout titles, uh, it has VR for uh, Resident Evil 7, which apparently has been reviewed as you know terrifying as to be expected. But um, I, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for that that big game, that must-have game for VR, 
And it sounds like they're making a lot of cool decisions with VR in terms of like uh, standards they want to set for development of games and hardware. And I think that stuff's really important for the industry as a whole. So all good stuff. I love the price drops. I love the uh, the standards that we're seeing getting pushed out. I think we're still a little bit away from like where we want to be with games. Um, but we'll talk about that more in, in like a hunt for hardware segment. I I need to bring that back, the hunt for hardware. Maybe we'll do those on Wednesdays. We'll see. Uh, AMD released the the first directly competitive processor uh, to Intel last week in like years. They they it's been like a decade since they've had a truly competitive processor. Um, but we'll save that for another video too. I I love that stuff and it's super important, you know, because the competition will drive prices down regardless. But I want to see more options, especially because like I I edit videos. Like I'm the perfect market for like having a a new kind of processor out there. But also because in gaming processing hasn't really hasn't really changed in the past four or five years because Intel has, has owned the market and they just haven't really tried to innovate very much. But I'm excited to see the changes. Uh, AMD, glad you're pushing stuff out. Uh, it sounds like that Ryzen launch went went really well. The gaming performance on that isn't so good so far. I'm getting too much. Um, they're hoping it gets patched up a little bit. We'll we'll see. Again, different different video for that kind of stuff, but wanted to bring it up anyway. Anyways, that's uh, that's pretty much it for this week, guys. Uh, like I said, this isn't really going to be scripted when I do these. I'm, I'm just going to put down bullet points and just kind of roll with it. And if nothing's going on, nothing's going on. I mean, the middle of, like, if the middle of March, like, nothing happens, I'm, I'll think of something to talk about, but I'm not going to get up here and be like, and then, uh, you know, like, there was an update for the Dolphin emulator for GameCube. That's pretty sweet. They, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I'm just, I'm going to play it by ear. I want to put out, you know, more videos each week and, Having an unscripted gaming news video in the beginning of the week. I really enjoy this stuff, so it's fun to talk about. But if there's nothing to talk about, there's nothing to talk about. Anyways, I've uh, personally been playing Breath of the Wild pretty heavily, uh, but mostly because it's so portable. So, like, I had people staying at my house all weekend. Uh, we were entertaining some of Katie's friends, which was a great time. And um, I would have, like, 20 minutes here and there where people were, like, showering or just, like, busy, and <laughs> I would, like, just whip out the Switch real quick and, like, play for 20 minutes, and it's awesome that I can do that, like, even even in my own home when I'm, like, near my games but just can't, like, set up a shop and play games for 20 minutes. It's, it's I like it. I like that it's portable. Um, still working on getting my Ninja to 16 Final Fantasy 14 and thinking through my next couple of Final Fantasy 11 videos. we got a couple more uh, artifact videos coming up, and then i I got to reintroduce the, uh, the Favorite Notorious Monsters video series soon, uh, finish that off and, and keep going with that let me know if you like these kind of videos each week um or what kind of news you know, missed that that you're interested in what kind of stuff is happening that i might not even know about uh ultimately i'm trying to hammer these out uh in a way that it doesn't impact my usual videos at all so if it starts to impact my usual videos we'll have to we'll have to rethink that but i, I don't think it will i think this is gonna be great i really like talking about this stuff uh let me know in the comments again like i said news that you heard about that i, might, I didn't mention cool stuff um what you're excited about with final fantasy 14 coming up the expansion as well as uh you know breath of the wild the switch anybody playing horizon zero dawn i really want to hear what you're thinking of that and um some of the other stuff near automata if anybody buys that tomorrow please tell me how that is because it looks really cool again probably uh won't get it for a while but looks awesome but seriously uh have a good week guys i'll see you with the regular videos later this week but uh have a good one as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, you should totally think about subscribing. I've got videos coming out twice a week, and if you like this one, there's at least a chance you'll like some of the others that are very similar to this, so live dangerously. Let me know what you guys thought about the video in the comments and other videos you'd like to see. And finally, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Hunting for Games to keep up with all the latest stuff. See ya.